you all know that I got a warning on my channel and that kind of scared me off of making content but I am back with a video which I have wanted to make for a while I know this is a new channel and everything but I'm going to be showing you all how I edit and record my videos and that is obvious I get my camera click record obviously but this video is mainly about editing equipment and the programs that I use and whatever so to begin with I use my Canon G7X Mark II not the Mark III because it's nearly a grand. It's like a pound off a grand. I think that's the kit. You get like a live streaming kit and that's £999. Whereas this camera here was £579.99. But that was the vlogging kit. You get a 32 gigabyte memory card. It didn't focus. That's alright. You get a tripod, which is on now, and the camera itself, which I obviously can't record itself because it is the camera. Other equipment that I use, I've got this clip microphone. So that end goes into the phone. Just like this. Like that and then you just talk into it and obviously I'm not gonna record on it now it's great for TikToks if you wanna record TikToks and there's one guy that sits down in a park I think and he's got a clip on mic and he just sits down in a chair so yeah if you guys want this and you think it's good I'll leave a link down below for where I bought it Amazon obviously another bit of equipment that I use to record not all of my videos but I use this to record my POV streets photography video and that is the 8-man A100 on a chest mount. I don't think I'm going to get a GoPro. I'm not sure. Obviously, a GoPro would be better. But it's basically a budget version of a GoPro. And talking about budget video recording... I used to use my iPhone 5S to record my videos. This phone is so tiny compared to my iPhone X right here. And I don't know why I decided to record with my iPhone 5S. I guess that's the only option I had. And I had this cheap fucking selfie stick that I got on holiday. I don't think I have any other equipment other than my Tonor TC20. Is that what it's called? I've still got the box for it. And then of course I've got my audio interface box which is what I'm using to plug my mic into because it's an XLR microphone. So here's the box from when I got it. And it came with a pop filter, which I decided not to use because obviously it's good quality, but I just think it's in the way all the time. So if you could imagine this being on there and then that constantly 
being in my face. I don't really like the idea of that. And that is basically all the equipment I use to record my videos. Is it? I think I'm missing one more thing. Oh yes, I have my Elgato HD60S. And if you don't know what that is, it is basically a capture card to record game consoles, Nintendo Switches, I believe it can do, PS5s, Xbox. I doubt it can do the original Xbox. And yeah, that is all the equipment I have for recording. So the next part for this video is how do I edit my videos? And I'm gonna tell you. And the program I use to edit this video and my previous videos is this application here. It's called Shotcut. And again, it is a budget version of Premiere Pro, which you have to pay a monthly fee. And I just don't want to do that. I used it in secondary school, college, and it just looks too complicated. It has all of these fucking options that you can use. But with Shotcut, it's a basic version. Here are new projects that are coming out on this channel. So I don't want to show that. So I'm just going to blur this part. And this is what you're given when you open up. It looks quite similar to Premiere Pro, but it isn't. I might have some B-roll on here that I've recorded. I'm going to blur this as well because that's for a project that I'm doing. So I've got a folder here called how I record and edit my videos. Let's pick this last clip, for example. So I'm going to pause that and I'm an idiot because I don't have my headphones plugged in. Is it actually recording my fucking screen? Yeah, it is. Because for a minute I thought I wasn't recording, so yeah. And this is what I use to sometimes record my voice and sometimes I will use reaper if i don't need to record my screen like i am now and reaper is just a audio recording software aka a daw digital audio workstation i think it stands for so here's our clip here it's just a random clip i'm gonna just show you the basics of what you can do so you can pull it from the preview and pull this back you can no longer click well i thought you couldn't do that so this is what you do to zoom in and out so if you're syncing a video like three two one and doing that and syncing audio which i will do at the beginning of this video and then you got your traditional skip to previous skip to next point which will be the end of the clip play and then you got rewind the other options are just along here i don't really use these if i want to split the clip i just click s click on the previous clip and then delete then shift And do all that and then up here we have jobs which is what you get after you click export and obviously I'm not going to export this because it's not a properly edited video and then you have history so these are the things I did move timeline clip lift from track split clip overwrite on top track add video track empty I think I said that in the complete opposite order. 
So there we go. And then with this new update, which I haven't gotten to grips with yet, is the filters, right? And before you would just click add and then type in whatever you want or you go to video. But this time when you go over them, it gives you a image basically. So with this one here, alpha channel adjust, you can see slightly in the bottom left, they could have made this a little bit bigger. I don't know much about the more complex editing filters. I don't know why they're called filters because they're more like effects, more like if you get what I mean. But with this one, it basically removes you from the background. So if you've got a green screen, blue screen, whatever color screen you got, and it will basically put you in that background. And these are just all the filters. And I don't really use any of them other than if I really need to use them. So like fade in, fade out for my outros. And you can apply these filters. For example, RGB shift, glitch, chroma, analog split RGB shift. I'll try and read it. And it can do this and you can keyframe it, I believe. So if I click play and do this, stop the video, close it, go back, play it. It will then do what I've keyframed it to do. So in a minute it should go crazy. Yeah, like that. It's a bit random, but yeah, that's what it does. And you can reset it and everything. And as I said before, I don't really use any of these. I'll narrow down which ones I actually do use. Um, I'll be using blur box. And then you can use crop. So if you don't want to show an address, you can put a box around the street name or the number of number plates. You see it quite a lot in music videos, especially drill music videos. So if they want to cover up a license plate, they'll put a box around it, pixelate it, or they'll just blur it, crop rectangle and then as you see as I do this say I want to blur out the name and the logo HD60S like that but if I want to do this I have to have a another channel so what I'll do is click control I and I'll create another thing what I'll do is create another one of those go up here and then click control v and obviously remove these filters here and now i have it here and now oh, it's moved it i can't really see there we go so then what you do now is you would click transparent and then click plus and then blur or pixelate, whichever one you prefer. I normally do Gaussian and then put the blur on top of the subject and then do that. And now it's blurred just like that. It's quite simple. And that is pretty much it. And also to add filters, you have to select a clip, otherwise it won't work. And I assume it's the same for Premiere Pro or any Adobe program. I don't use Photoshop either. I use Shotcut to do all of my thumbnails. I don't know if this video is strange or not. I don't know, but this channel is about me and what I like to do, I don't think I'll be getting any new equipment at all. 
I'm not sure. But hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to buy a green screen soon or I get it as a gift or something. There isn't much more to say other than that. So, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. YouTube has removed one of my fucking videos. Can you guess which one it is? It's the part two for this one. Young Me Part Two.